Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to review the Aqualung Micro Mask that we've got available on our site. This is a really great mask and has proved really popular on our website for freedivers and scuba divers alike. So the first thing I notice is it comes in this really cool Aqualung plastic box, which is quite good. It's quite sturdy. This will protect your mask from getting damaged or scratched if you throw it in the dive bag. So if we open it up, you see there's just a clip at the back over there. You can pop that open and out comes the mask itself. Only thing I'm a little bit worried about is in time, I'm sure that these clips will go rendering this not really effective. I much prefer the mask boxes that have got the clips that go, or the lids that go over the top. I find they last much longer, but that said, it's only the mask box. We don't have to worry, we'll leave that out the way. Here's the set of instructions and warranties. Very important that you read your instructions and warranties beginning to end, so you fully understand the goings on and workings of your Aqualung Micro Mask in many different languages. We'll recycle that, don't worry. So the mask itself, here is the first look at the Aqualung Micro Mask. So let's dive on in for a close up to see what's going on. First thing we can see with this mask is that it is a really minimalistic design over the top over there. There's a nice teardrop design to the bottom and this mask will sit very, very close to your face, meaning that your peripheral vision around the mask will be really, really good. If I turn it to the side, you can see that it is a really low volume and quite streamlined over there. So if you're swimming in a really heavy current or if you're free diving going down and up, there's a lot less drag going over the mask itself and because it's such low volume it would be really easy to clear the mask as well because there's not as much water going to get on the inside. It's got a nice sturdy nose pocket there. It's not the softest nose pocket but it is really easy to pinch. There's two little indents on the side there so you can get your thumbs all the way in there to, to pinch your nose completely to easily equalize. The mask is very sturdy. If I try it, twist it there I'm giving it quite a hard twist. It's a very very sturdy frame around the mask itself. If I turn to the side you can see there is a pivot section on the mask itself so if your strap is higher up or lower down on your head that will help distribute the weight of the mask or the force of the mask around your face ensuring a good seal no matter where you put the strap itself. To tighten and loosen the mask you can simply just pull the uh, tag over here and to loosen it there's two sections over there where you just pinch it and that will loosen the mask for you to loosen it very easily. So just pinch it and pull and then to tighten, you can tighten it up there. So this is quite easy if you're diving in colder waters and you've got gloves on, it'll be a very easy mask for you to loosen and adjust under the water. It's got the standard Aqualung silicone strap at the back so it goes out quite wide over the crown of your head and there's an additional tag over there if you wanted to pull that up and down over your head. And then looking on the inside of the mask, it's a very minimalistic design. It does have the dual seal section over there. I'm going to hold it up for you to see. So there's two seals on the mask which will give you a lot of extra uh, sealing there. Top tip from me is remember if you find the mask is leaking for whatever reason, if you tighten the mask you tend to collapse it down in on itself. So if you find the mask is leaking a bit, always a good idea just to loosen the mask a bit, reposition it and you'll find that you'll get a good fit and then that should stop any mask from leaking. The section underneath the nose is really really small so if you've got a moustache that would fit uh, just above that and would seal quite well if you had some facial hair there as well. So overall I think it's a really great looking mask very low volume and minimalistic, very easy to adjust and loosen and tighten with a sturdy nose pocket there for you to pinch to equalize your nose if you were free diving and or scuba diving and the design looks quite funky as well. So guys there is my review of the Aqualung Micro Mask that we've got available on our site. Really, really funky, great design, very, very minimalistic when you pop it onto your face and just an overall good looking masky poo to have. So if you guys are enjoying these product reviews, please 
feel free to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go check out our social streams. The main one being facebook.com forward slash scuba.ca but we've got the Instagram, Twistergrams, all the other grams. You can go check it out. It's just cool to see. We'll keep you up to date with all the trips and travels and all cool things that we've got going on. And in case you're wondering, yes, at the end of the video, I did refer to it as a masky poo. How weird is that? That's it from me, guys. And I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water. A masky poo. You called it a masky poo. Nice. <laughs>